Well, in a year when car sales are off on a rocket trip to the moon in the U.S., one of the hottest categories is where this guy's playing, in the compact crossover market. New entry from Mazda, this is theirs, it's the CX-3. Now it's based, in spite of the nomenclature, on the Mazda 2, but they've kind of pulled that thing to its maximum dimensions. Eight inches longer than a 2 going this way, about three inches wider going this way. But what I want you to see more than its volumes is its overall style. This is all about premium look and styling. You've got good sized wheels, you've got an audacious body, you've got Mazda's very celebrated new kind of front clip and face and inside a lot of premium look as well it's not a bare bones proposition also check out the rear quarter it would be the C pillar you've got some blackout treatment there you see it's on a lot of Jaguars in fact that gives you the impression of sort of a floating roof again a premium touch you don't expect in a little guy this size or class now inside we see a lot of classic current Mazda Qs. They're going with something called Mazda Connect on this car. I believe it's their second car that will have that. They're moving more into a connected apps and infotainment platform. It starts off largely with an LCD panel here, this kind of multi-controller down here, and AHA from Harman bringing in a lot of different services in an audio form. Information, podcasts, radio, even travel information, but all kind of packaged for your ear. And they expect to have more apps supported in that through 2015, which would be a good piece of catch-up for them. And notice up here a little plastic pop-up HUD combiner, a little HUD screen basically. This is part of the Mazda Connect technology also as they kind of bring some information out there to keep your eyes more on the road even while you have other interfaces in the car. CX-3 hits U.S. spring of 2015. Pricing is obviously, it's a little too early for that. I can tell you this, it's one engine only in the U.S. though. A two-liter sky-active high-compression gas four hooked up to an automatic transmission. All-wheel drive will be an option. We'll look for it soon.